Hello to everyone in the NEO ecosystem. I hope you had a fabulous weekend and beginning to your week. This is the NEO News Today. We can review your one-stop shop for everything that happens in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. As always, if you appreciate what you're seeing in these videos, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button and to follow our YouTube feed. Let's kick this thing off. We at NEO News Today released an overview article of Consensus 2023 and NEO's footprint at the event. This is nearing the end of the content we'll be releasing dedicated to the event. Keep your ears open for a smart economy podcast that will air this week. The overview article touched upon the more than 750 Lizard NFTs that were distributed to new owners of the non-fungible item One Band Rings. I personally want to give a shout out to all the teams that were at the event and manned their partner pods to share a lot of the cool projects that are happening in the NEO ecosystem. They include Axe Labs, For the Win Network, COZ, Greenfinch, Perlin Finance, Flamingo Finance, and Meme to Earn, Digi, and of course, Ghost Market. So head over to our YouTube channel to see all the videos that we released. Go over to neonewstoday.com to check out our coverage and keep your ears peeled for the next episode of the Smart Economy Podcast. R3E Network co-founder Jing Wei Lao published an article on the NASDAQ website that was entitled Zero Knowledge Proofs, the Swiss Army Knife of Privacy Tech. The article offered an overview on how zero knowledge proofs can be used to protect privacy, authenticate identification, and safeguard sensitive information while also providing a few use cases. Quirky Soul College is concluding wave one of the Quirky Soul NFT minting phase on Sunday, May 14th. Afterwards, users will not be able to mint any more new Quirky Soul NFTs until the launch of the next wave, which has yet to be announced. After the mint concludes, the Quirky Soul College team intends to airdrop special rewards to any wallet that holds one or more Wave 1 Quirky Soul NFTs. While this video was being made, there were approximately 185 Quirky Soul NFTs remaining in Wave 1. Neo Soccer kicked off the sixth season of its 38 day schedule for the Flamingo Finance and Meme to Earn leagues. Additionally, the platform creators noted that there will be an upcoming change in the way that payments are made on the platform. From here on out, instead of using BNEO, users will use the in-game native token, BITS, to purchase players, stadiums, and coaches, and also to register for future leagues and tournaments. This past week, Ghost Market hosted NEO News Today editor, me, on their Twitter spaces where we were able to discuss the consensus 2023 activation of the one banned non-fungible item and the lizard NFTs that we distributed to participants, as well as other general things going on in the NEO ecosystem. Additionally, Ghost Market was listed on the Uniramp fiat on and off ramp aggregator where users can convert their GM into fiat currencies. And lastly, in upcoming events on June 10th and June 11th, the Flamingo Finance team will be hosting a booth at Web3 Berlin. Well, that just about wraps up everything that happened in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. As always, we appreciate you coming to our neck of the woods to see what's been happening with the NEO blockchain. If you appreciate what we're doing here, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're a NEO token holder, please consider NEO News Today as your representative for NEO Council. We've proudly been serving the NEO ecosystem since 2017 and will continue to use portions of our council income to invest directly back into ecosystem growth initiatives. So thanks so much for coming on over to the NEO News Today YouTube channel and we look forward to catching you next week.